Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I would like to give a simple introduction to the idea of moment generating function. And it is um, known as such because the function given here can be used to generate moments. And you have learned about moments in the previous video. So you'll see more of that later on, okay? So now let's go straight to the definition. Here we have a random variable x. Okay, so here is our x. It is a random variable. And for each real number t, this is the function uh, that depends on t. And here is the Greek letter. And in English, it is pronounced as psi. And in Greek, it is called c. So here is a psi a function that depends on t, it has t, and um, it is defined as, as such here, as given in this purple box. Well, in order to find the MGF, so here is the definition of MGF, moment generating function, uh, you are required to find the expected value of this function here. So this is the function of x. You can see clearly we have x right over there. So e to the tx. And um, you just have to find what is the expected value of that function. And as you can see here, this moment generating function of x, it depends only on the distribution of x since the MGF is just the expected value of x. Okay, so um, you can see here, in order to find moment generating function, you have to find the expected value. And the expected value here uh, has e to the tx. x is our random variable. And you know that in order to find the expected value of this function, you need to know what is the distribution of it. So therefore, the MGF of x depends on the distribution of x. And uh, it is easy to find the expected value of uh, the above function, the given function. You just need to consider, uh, for example, in order to find MGF, you need to consider whether you have a discrete, discrete x or you have the continuous x. If you have a discrete random variable, then the expected value of this is just going to be the summation of uh, here with respect to x and we're going to plug in this e to the tx right next to fx so fx here is the distribution of x and again that's why it says here the mgf depends on the distribution of x so it depends on this if this uh, changes then the mgf is also going to change okay and if we have a continuous random variable to find uh, the expected value of this function here, we have to do uh, integration process. And here we have e t x right next to its PDF, fx. Again, this is the distribution of x. And you're just going to integrate this whole thing here with respect to x, okay? So that's the process. And the process here have already been um, explained in the previous video. And if you... Um, are having doubts or you feel like you need to revise this part then you can just go straight to the previous video related to mathematical expectation okay so uh, we are going to move on to another interesting fact about this moment generating function now note that um, our random variable x here can be uh, bounded and it can be not bounded. So what does it mean by bounded? Bounded means it has uh, limits to it, to the values that x can take. For example, um, if x is between b and a. So this is an example of our random variable being bounded by certain limits. Now, on the other hand, it is also possible to have a random variable that is not bounded. For example, if you have the values of x, uh, defined to be whatever as long as it is greater than zero so you can see that this value of x can go on and on until infinity and there is no proper boundary to it okay so uh, so those are the 
uh, different possible values of x. One is bounded and the other one is not bounded. Now, when it is bounded, this gives the result of our MGF. So, what is MGF? MGF is just the expected value of e to the tx. So, the value of MGF is going to be uh, finite for all real number t. Okay, so for all values of t, the, the value of MGF here is going to be finite. On the other hand, if it is not bounded, well, the MGF here, which is again can be found with this uh, process, finding the expected value of e to the tx, it is going to be finite only for certain values of t. So this is um, certain values of t. So this is just um, an interesting fact or something that you have to, to understand as well. Okay, so we are going to have uh, MGF that is finite for all t if it is bounded and uh, finite only for certain values of t if it is not bounded. Okay. All right, for this introduction purpose, um, inter introducing the MGF, I would like to um, go straight to the uh, application of it. So, for example, here is um, asking you to find the MG MGF of X where X has a uniform distribution over the range of alpha, beta and it is telling you here or giving you a hint what sort of um, distribution you are dealing with. So clearly this is going to be a continuous uh, values of X and you know that you have to go with the integration process and you also need to know what is the distribution of it. So what is the PDF of this? Okay, so our starting point is to find the expected value of e to the tx. So this is uh, how you can find the MGF of x. And it is given as uh, you have to integrate e tx and the uniform distribution, we should know that the PDF of it is just 1 over um, the upper limit is beta minus alpha. So that is the PDF. For the uniform distribution okay dx and you have to integrate with respect to the given range the range is just alpha and beta so there you go next what we can do is um, we can take out the constant so here is the constant we take it out we have one over beta minus alpha and here is the uh, function that we are left with okay and uh, integrate e to the tx the result is going to be well at this point of time you should know that it is going to be e to the tx over t so that is the result of integrating um, e to to the something here so we have something on the top here the exponent here so the result is going to be e to the tx over t and the limits are between beta and alpha Next, what we can do is we can substitute beta into um, x, okay, beta into x and alpha into x, and therefore the results that we get is going to be, well, e t beta over t minus e t alpha over t, okay, right, so I'm going to use the space over here. Then the next part is we're just going to uh, make it look nicer or simplified the whole thing. And therefore, the final result is just going to be, well, so here we have the same denominator. So that will be E T beta minus E T alpha over T. And you multiply with this part. So here is will be uh, beta minus alpha okay so something like that maybe we can uh, make it look nicer so e t beta minus e t alpha t beta minus alpha okay so yeah that's the answer uh, of moment generating function of x where x has a uniform distribution okay i think uh, that's all for now thank you very much for watching